Good morning, happy Wednesday and today is the day of Charlie's operation to remove his testicles. Um, we're already running a little bit late, it's 10 to 8, we've had a bit of a lay in and I have to be at the vet's in an hour um, but I'm sure we'll be fine. So I just need to take him out for a quick walk, have some breakfast and then get off to the vet's. Andrew's still in bed. He does sleep naked, so we have to be very careful. Huh? I think you just see his hairy chest there. You're back to me now, don't worry, you can look again. <coughs> so yeah, um, I think it's mono orchid something, where they only have one testicle showing. So they will have to do a slightly more complicated operation for Charlie to find his second testicle and remove both of them. <clears throat> um, and, <laughs> and that is one reason why we are deciding to do it now when he's seven months rather than later down the line. We would probably have waited for a little longer um, to give him a bit more time to mature and grow up. But we feel with the... A testicle issue that we just want to get him sorted out. So I better get moving. My other plans for today are to, while Charlie's in the vets, are to get some presents wrapped and some cards written um, to keep me busy, to get the job done and yeah so 10 to 8. Have you got anything to say dear? No, he's still, he's still asleep. So we're going to try, we've both got, well I've got two days off work and Andrew's got three days off so although it's a worrying time with Charlie we're going to try and enjoy the time off as well as much as we can. So I'll see you in a bit. Good morning Charlie. Is it walkie time? Is it? But there's no D-I-N-N-E-R this morning. No breakfast. You can't have any breakfast. I can't actually say the word D-I-N-N-E-R because he knows that word. Very nice stretch. A nice stretch. Is it wee wee walkie time? Oh, he's hiding. He's Heidi Booin. He's Heidi Booin. So yes, Wednesday the 12th of December. Halfway through um, another 12 days to Christmas Eve or 11 days. And my Wednesday breakfast is uh, creamy caramel coffee and my other coffee today was double chocolate so I shall look forward to that tonight and then my breakfast this morning is 40 grams of grape nuts for my healthy extra B, a banoffee pie yogurt for one sin and some defrosted berries and I do usually give this a blast in the microwave for 40 or 50 seconds just to warm it through because it's been in the fridge. So that's my breakfast. I've got a little puppy who's wondering where his D-I-N-N-E-R is. But not long now and we'll be off to the vets. Come on then, let's see. Let's sit. Good boy. Hey. Let's sit. Good boy, good boy, 7.7. Ah, <coughs> oh. oh, you'll be all right. Good boy. Good boy. All right, all right. I know, it's exciting. All these doggies. Right, that's Charlie dropped off at the vets. I'm not really very happy with what's happened. I'm not 
I'm not really nervous about um, what's going to happen to him or anything. I, I completely trust the vets in that way and I'm happy with leaving him there and things like that. But um, we do this pet plan, which is £11 a month, and um, it entitles us to 10% off. Um, some treatments and as I said last time uh, they said that we would have to remind the receptionist to to give us a discount so when I've dropped him off today um, they've said oh the 10% discount only applies um, to his normal the normal neutering process so I'll only get 10% off a certain proportion of the bill not the whole bill. Now I know we're only talking a few pounds here and there, um, but I still think they're just trying to get as much money out of us as, as they can. So basically, it's cost because Charlie's got one one testicle that hasn't descended. It's costing us another hundred pounds. Uh, there or thereabouts anyway um, so it would be a hundred pounds cheaper if he was just having a normal neuter and that bit that extra won't be discounted and also I've had to ask three times now for the extra bits that we don't need to be removed from the quote um, and yeah, I've had to really push for this discount and also everything else that everything else that you're entitled to under this um pet health plan, I have had to personally ask for, otherwise I wouldn't have got it. You know, they would never have contacted me and said he's due for a flea and worm or he's due for this or he's due for that. I've had to ring up and say, Can I make an appointment or can I do this? Can we do that? Can I get on the training course? The training course, we were on a waiting list for four months. <sighs> anyway, rant over. I'm probably a bit anxious about him as well, so that doesn't help. But yeah, the, the treatment of him and, you know, the atmosphere and the, the actual vets themselves the, and the people, they're all really, really nice, don't get me wrong, and I've no... I've no worries about that side of it, but just this particular issue, I'm not very happy with, but we'll see. See how today goes. So they said he could be there until three o'clock, which is a long time for a puppy with who's not been fed. Um, and they will ring us as soon as he's had his... Um, what do you call it? What do you call the injection? Anesthetic. He's anaesthetic, yeah. So we'll know and then they'll arrange a time for pickup. Right, so Andrew's got a job on in the kitchen, which I'll show you in a minute, and I'm gonna get on with my Christmas wrapping. Andrew is marzipanning and icing all his Christmas cakes today, or that's what he hopes to do. So he's got one of the pork pie size ones on his what's this called? This, that's a turntable. A turntable, yeah. Yes, it turns the table. And this is the cake board here. That's the cake board. That's the cake. That's the cake, yeah. A little pot pie size one. Oh, yeah. And what is it, apricot jam? It is. That you've um, heated in the microwave. Oh, it's marvellous. So you just brush it all with apricot jam and that is the first step. In the space of me fetching all the presents down, this is actually a different cake. But now we have the marzipan hat on. He's rolled it quite thick so that he doesn't have to do as much patching up. So it's, it's not quite thick, I mean it's just it's slightly thicker than a normal Slightly door. thicker, yeah. About half a centimetre thick. Because usually you have to do a bit of patching up, don't you? You know, what I, what I did before was I, I used, on a fruit cake, you get like indentations in the cake, in the cake mm. and like little holes and stuff. And I used to patch it up before I put the marzipan on with marzipan. And uh, I just thought, well, I'll save a bit of time and just roll it a bit thicker and then 
um, it won't show through. Mm. So, so yeah, it's all very good. Icing sugar. This video is probably going to be super long, but I hope you don't mind. I know a lot of you are quite interested in both Charlie's operation and Andrew's cake icing. Well, I suppose I could make it two separate videos. Mm. And obviously he'll be repeating this process with all his cakes. What have you got, about 10? 12, I think. 12. And it's done. What's that? So that's number five, look. Yeah. There's four so far. And I'll show you from here so that hopefully a lot of people can't see what they're getting. This is my job for the next couple of hours to keep my mind busy. Uh, wrapping presents. So oh, it's 22.11 now, Andrew's on his last two cakes. I've wrapped one pile of presents, that's all for my dad. I think I've gone a bit overboard this year, but I've bought him lots of gluten-free goodies. This is what he asked for. Mince pies, Christmas cakes, fruit jellies and things. He doesn't watch these videos, so that's my dad's little pile. Um, and I'm just snacking on a Ribena Winter Spice and a banana with cinnamon and the Skinny Sauce chocolate, Skinny Sauce Company chocolate sauce, which is free on the plan. And I'm watching this Mrs. Wilson, the third part, which hasn't been bad, but Andrew found it a bit boring. Well, it's half one, uh, half twelve, sorry. I've made some progress with the wrapping. I've got two left for Charlie to wrap and then I've got Andrew's to sort out, but I'm almost there. No word from the vets as yet. Just check, no, nothing from the vets yet. Andrew's had a decade potato and tuna. And for my lunch, I'm having a portion of my um, macaroni cheese with gammon. I've got cauliflower, gammon, um and butternut squash with macaroni and a cheese sauce so that's got my healthy extra a allowance of cheese in it with a salad green leaves tomatoes cucumber red onion and pepper um i'm gonna put some of this this is the couple of people have asked this is the um skinny sauce smoky barbecue and this is and the, the ketchup that I use is from the same company and they've, they've got a website and I choose to, um, because they're zero calorie, I don't send them. So I'll have a bit of that on my macaroni. I've got an easy peeler and a pink lady apple and a diet lemonade. So we've literally now, just now heard back from the vets. Um, Charlie has had his procedure and he's absolutely fine and they've asked if I can, it's just after one o'clock and they've asked if I can go back for him at uh, 3.25 so just over two hours to go till we get him back and Andrew's going to make the most of it and move on to the next part of his uh, decoration so a very similar procedure um, to putting the marzipan on is the icing You've kept that quite thick as well, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Oh yes. So that's quite. That's the same thickness, about half a centimetre, and it's this. Just pick one of them up, will you? Can't quite see it for the Morrison's white icing, ready to roll. And just shape it round. Any tips for doing the icing? Um, well, it depends what you're covering. I mean, if you, I'm, I'm going on to marzipan, obviously, but um, just wet it. Wet it so with water. With water, so it's sticky. Don't flood it though. Just, just like make sure it's damp. Yeah. And tacky. Yeah, the marzipan. Yeah, and then 
just um, roll it out. Roll it out just to <coughs> so it's obviously it covers it all. Uh, you don't want to get it on and make sure, and then find out that you you short down one side or something like mm, that. Mm. But yeah, just um, they just keep smoothing. Just keep smoothing, yeah. Have your icing sugar. Don't overwork it because that's when you start getting elephant skin effect. We'll check on him later, and I shall return to my present wrapping. So what's this about the seventh one you buy? Eighth? I don't know, eighth maybe. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's six small ones and the first square one. So this is number eight. And you're just using your, is it, is it actually called a smoothing tool? It's called a smoothing tool, yeah. Yeah. And this is a, is it a two pound loaf tin size? No, this is a one. One pound loaf tin size. It's just, it grows as you put your layers yeah, on. Yeah, it looks bigger. I'm on to the tagging and labelling stage of present wrapping. And we've got about an hour until Charlie's juice will be picked up. Just trying to get it all done before he comes back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're getting tired yet? Yeah, I'm knackered. How many have you got left to ice now? Three? Three or four. Five, I don't know. Oh, it's hard work. So here we go. I meant to show you them while they were still downstairs, but I actually got to, got going and moved them all upstairs. Uh, I've only got about five or ten minutes before I need to set off and get Charlie. But there's all Charlie's presents. There's our presents from Andrew's mum and dad. There's Andrew's birthday presents. I need to get him a card. There's Andrew's presents. And there's our family presents. All wrapped up, tagged and sorted. And the next job I need to do either today or tomorrow is the Christmas cards. So yeah, next time you see me, I'll hopefully have my little boy Charlie back in my arms. Who's that? Here we go. Oh, oh, boy. Hey, get him over there. Look, that's the other two one. <laughs> no. Oh. Good boy. Oh. Good boy. Yeah, you are. Oh. Good boy. Come on boy. then, shall we go home? Oh, here he is, the wounded soldier. We're having his first dinner. Uh, we've just given him some chicken and rice. Uh, is that his first wee wee? Looks like he might want to go out again. Just a minute then. Um, he's not got the medical shirt on at the moment because he's weed on it. We've tried to pin it back but he's still got wee on it so that's going to have to go through a big wash, a quick wash. And he's going to have to have his collar back on, aren't you? Oi! It's down! So I better go and put that collar back on and do some more supervising. And our dinner's on as well. If you can hear the active fries. Yeah, it seems to... I'll pop on in a bit and give you a bit more of an update. I will come on and give you a rundown of what they said about Charlie at the vets and everything, but I'm going to sit and eat our evening meal first. So we've got Andrew's chicken dinner, which is a roast in the bag chicken. This is the breast. Um, then we've got oxo roasties and mixed veg, carrots, broccoli and cauliflower with the Schwartz chicken gravy, which is two sins for my portion. Then I've got some defrosted blueberries and some Vimto flavoured quark and sugar-free Vimto as a drink. And I'm sure you can hear the little patient over there. His uh, pet shirt is in the dryer, so hopefully 
So we can put his pet shirt back on and remove the collar when we're with him. And we can observe him so that he's not scratching. Yes, not a very nice sound to hear, but we're just going to have to hope that he gets better very soon. Right, good evening. Mm -hmm. So it's now 20 past five and I thought I'd give you a little catch up mm -hmm. on what's happened today at the vets. First of all, I'll say that he is crying a little bit. If you do hear any crying in the background, please be assured Andrew's looking after him, but he's had his, he's had some pain medicine at the vets. He's been fed, he's had a wee wee and he's having all his needs tended to as much as we can. Mm. He's just not really very happy with the collar on and he's probably having a bit of pain as well. So you may hear a little bit of crying in the background. Um, so he was dropped off about 20 to 9 this morning. Uh, he, the, the vets called us at 1 o'clock to say that he'd had his anaesthetic and everything was fine and could we collect him at 25 past 3. I went back at 25 past 3 and as you've seen I collected him. They said he was ex an exceptionally good boy. Um, he was very accepting of the collar and the pet shirt. The pet shirt is like a um, a baby grow, um, and it has all these press studs on it. Um, but but what actually happened when we let him out for his first wee? I obviously didn't pin it back well enough and it, it got wet through on his first wee. So that's in the wash and unfortunately he's got to keep the collar on um, until we can get the um, baby grow back to put on him. Um, and obviously that's to stop him licking and scratching at the wound which can cause infection. So he has had his testicles removed and with Charlie um, only one testicle had descended um, so they found the missing one in his groin uh, so he's had two incisions um, and they found it on the first look for it if you like so they had two places that they could look in his groin or further up so he's, he's only had two incisions which has saved us a little bit of money um, they said that, yeah, as I said, they said that he was really, really well behaved. He just got really, really excited when people came down to wherever they keep them um, to see him in the vets. Um, so they just had to say, be calm. Um, and yeah, they said they all fe fell a little bit in love with him. So isn't that nice? So with our pet plan discount, and with asking for some of the unnecessary things to be removed, we've reduced the initial um, estimate from £344, I think it was, down to £236.50. So please, please, if you get a quote from your vet um, for an operation, please do go through it with them quite detailed and ask, is everything really necessary? And is anything quoted on the high side? For example, they quoted our stitches at £80. And they haven't charged us anywhere near that for stitches and medication. So, so as I say, please do just double check. Because as I say, with our 10% discount and with asking the... Having our own... Um, a neighbour gave us an old pet shirt and we said we didn't want the after surgery food and the pre-surgery bloods um, so we got all that knocked off so we've, we've um, saved just over £100 or they've quoted on the high side for some things and the actual cost is coming lower so all in all, you know, £240, it's a bit better than we were expecting, although it's still pricey. Um, so yeah, oh right, okay, so that's what I was going to go through. So we have some medication to give him. We have this Metacam Oral Suspension. 
um, and it comes with a little syringe which has his weight on it. Um, so we pull that down to the 10 because he's just under 10 kilograms and give him this, give him that um, once a day with food and for at least three days until he has his, um, he's got a post-op check on Saturday morning. As I say, if you can hear the crying, that is Charlie, unfortunately. So we've got some pain medication. He's got two shaved patches on his leg and on his um, lower tummy. Um, then we've got a post-operative care sheet. You may find that a patch of fur has been clipped from one or both of Charlie's front legs and around the surgical site. A tube may have been passed down your pet's windpipe, which may tickle and cause your pet to cough for a few days. It, Charlie will be recovering from an anaesthetic and surgery, so it is essential for you to continue their nursing at home. And then we've got some general instructions. It is essential to keep Charlie warm and comfortable. Give Charlie peace and quiet. Licking the surgical site should be prevented as it will cause infection and prevent healing. We recommend using a buster collar or a pet shirt to help with this. Check the wound daily for signs of redness, swelling or discharge and the wound should be kept dry. Restrict exercise as movement will slow down the healing process and lead only exercise. And this is the hard bit. No climbing stairs, jumping onto sofas, jumping up or rough play as this will pull the stitches and may cause the wound to open. So that is going to be hard with a seven month old puppy. And stitches will be removed 10 days after surgery unless otherwise instructed. Mm -hmm. Feeding, water should be available at all times. Small amounts of food should be fed this evening as per the guide we're giving him chicken and rice. Buster collar should be worn at all times. Medication, give with food to start tomorrow. If your pet has any vomiting or diarrhea, stop all medications and contact the surgery. Uh, next appointment is three days, post-op check with a nurse and 10 days final check and stitches removed. So yes, as I say, he's got his um, post-op booked on Saturday morning. So fingers crossed. And here's Andrew's work for the day. Apologies for the mess on the table. Um, but we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen cakes here. Um, eleven have been marzipan and iced, and one's just been marzipan as the lady having that one is icing it with royal icing, and this one still wrapped up is just a just a fruit cake without marzipan and ice. <coughs> they look lovely love they've done a good job yeah obviously they're not decorated yet that's going to be tomorrow's job all being well I think you've done done quite well to get them all done you've not got any uh Air bubbles or anything, have you? No. They look very smooth. That's, yeah. This big one is for everybody at work. And then one of them is ours and one's for my mum. And then others are just for people at work who've ordered them. Here they are, the two tired and wounded soldiers. Uh, Have you both had a hard day? Uh, oh dear. Uh, oh, I do feel queer. You sound, your crying sounds worse than his.
He's a poorly soldier. I know. Get some more D-I-N-N-E-R soon as well. Because you gobbled down that chicken and rice, didn't you? <clears throat> Just got to make sure you have little and often because you could be sick after the anaesthetic. Okay. I think we'll leave them to it, shall we? We'll leave them to their little loving. So I've got my baby look in his baby grow. Don't know how well you're going to be able to see in the light. But this is the little baby grow, so this is what stops them licking at the wound. It's called a medical pet shirt. I think you can get them on Amazon, but obviously we got one given by a neighbour, so we didn't have to buy them. Uh, I think it would have been about £8 um, if we'd had to pay for it. I'll just show you the top. You can see that it says there, MPS for Medical Pet Shirt, and it just fits them like a baby grow. And when you're actually with them and supervising them, they can have the collar off as long as they don't lick. Um, but they do advise the vet that um, if you're leaving them on their own that you put the proper collar back on. So there he is, my baby. So I've just been in the shower and I've got my um, pyjamas and dressing gown on. Andrew and Charlie have been having lots of cuddles. What's he been like? Oh, not too bad. He, I mean, he cries out in pain every now and again and then that goes to sleep for a bit and then wakes up. It's like he, he, the pain's waking him up, you know. Aww. We're giving him lots of cuddles and looking after him, aren't we? And we're just going to um, try feeding him again now with more chicken and rice. But he hasn't been sick or anything, has he? No. No, so we'll try again with a bit more dinner. Do you want some dinner? Does he? Does he want some dinner? Oh. So it's 8.30. Charlie's been crying a little bit, but he's settled down a bit now. He didn't really eat that chicken and rice, but I'm going to... Um, uh, on cue, there's a little cry. I'm going to try him with a bit more chicken just on its own. And my evening snacks are the double chocolate coffee when I've filled it up from the kettle. A packet of sweet and smoking hippies for four and a half sins. I think this is a salted caramel bliss ball for two sins. And a um, multi-pack flake 20 grams which is five sins and a chopped pear. I've already had three sins earlier in the day with my gravy and yoghurt. So I end the day on 14 and a half sins and 7,500 steps, which isn't too bad for a day in the house. Thanks for watching.